Hey everyone, welcome to Alchemy Star. So today I'm going to be giving you guys a beginner's perspective on Alchemy Stars and is this game still good to start in 2022? Okay, so just to give you guys kind of a background on how I came into playing this one. I saw this game a while back in 2021. It kind of coincided with the launch of Counterside, but I think both of them were, you know, either were either Counterside was going first than then this one or vice versa. So a anyway, I was playing XO Zeros during the time. I still I still was playing XO Zeros. I wanted to bring in a new game, which I chose Counterside. I didn't I didn't choose this game. And ever since that day, I actually am regretting why I didn't choose this game over Counterside. It's not that I don't want Counterside, but I could have played both of them, but I didn't. So, again, um, I really regret not playing this for 2021. But yes, 2022, this game is going to be very much, very viable to play. Um, I'll tell you with a couple of reasons why. Okay, so currently I'm, as you can see here, just a little bit of proof. So I'm at my ninth day of playing. So I've been playing the game uh, consistently every day, getting to know the game, progressing as far as I can. So the first reason why you should play this game is catching up. Some players have a problem with catching up with this game or sorry some players have a problem catching up in a gacha game because normally most gacha games have pvp but this one does not have any pvp all of your game modes are going to be in pve so as you can see here resource secret territory extra chapter spire all of these are in PvE. So the only the only problem that you'll be having here is starting from scratch while others have advanced already. But honestly, I don't think it's a problem because you can play at your own pace. Um doesn't matter where if if others are 6 months in advance as you are doesn't matter because again, you won't compete with them right you won't play against them so this game will basically be up to you and how you want to play it what is your pace what is your appetite for new um new heroes new characters so that is that is going to be your pacing in terms of how you're going to progress are you going to spend for this game so again play at your own pace so for the past nine, eight days, I've been playing at my own pace and I'm happy. Uh, I'm not competing with anybody. I'm basically competing with myself. Um, I'll tell you more about it in a while. So it would take you around one to two months to clear difficult stages. Yes, because obviously you'll have to level up your heroes. You'll have to ascend them. Um, there are a lot of... There are a lot of... Let, let me just go through... Let me just go through one character here, which is Revy. You'll have to break through them. You'll have to ascend. Ascend is easier. Breaking through is much more difficult because it requires you to get more copies of uh, of that character. So again, this will really... Not really. This will kind of slow you down a bit. But it's not going to be a problem. Again... You'll be playing this at your own pace. This concludes my catching up. So again, you won't have any problem catching up with the game. You will be you will be more or less be progressing depending on your appetite on progression. Whether you're gonna be buying or purchasing from the store, it's really up to you. It's going to hasten your um, your acquisition of heroes and clearing some of the stages. Um, I'm going to tell you all about it later. Next is going to be content. Okay, so going back to content, there are a lot of content to be cleared here. So you have here your regular content for the game again. And this is going to be your 
your your event content. So this is the current event, Dragon Maid's Break. So again, th frequently the game has a lot of events. So don't worry about content. I don't think you'll have a problem or you'll have uh, what you call this. You'll have the problem of lacking content or you'll be idle for quite a while. But again, the game does have a lot of content to play with. So that is your, your content. Then you have your Colossus. Your Colossus basically is your ship that you're on. So your facilities. Um, it's It also, as you can see here, you have to develop certain areas. You have to level them up. So there are a lot of things to do. I've achieved this already in eight days. So a lot of things to claim. Uh, affinities to level up. So that is it. The only, the only... I think a hurdle that you'll be getting from this game is the energy system, which is the prism. So as soon as you you play um, some content of this game, it would require you prism, and also to re to refresh prism, it will require you this one, the lumamber, lumamber. Okay, because so you can purchase prism here. So, just going to give you an example. Let's just purchase one. 40. As you can see there, 40 was just ded deducted. So, this, but this currency, by the way, is used for summoning as well. So, you, you're basically torn between progressing further and also summoning new heroes. So, that is it. So, again, if you want to take your time, you can save this up and wait for your prism to refresh. That can be, you know, that can be your option. Um, what else do we have here? So, in terms of my current progression, as you can see, I'm at, uh, for the story, I'm at 7-7. -7. Kind of okay for, you know, for a 8-day, you know, 8-day span in which I've been playing. So, so far, that's it for content. Next would definitely be your characters or the Aurorians that you're going to play. So Aurorians are your heroes for the game. These will be the ones that you're going to be leveling up. So you have uh, four types of Aurorians. You have uh, water, you have fire or flame, <clears throat> then you have forest, then you have the last one is thunder. I like to call them lightning, but they're called thunder anyway. So you have four groups of Aurorians. Um, ideally, um, at the start, you have to have your core, but eventually you'll have to develop a team of five because there are certain stages that would only require you to bring a Aurorian of a specific element. So as you can see, I've been trying to level up at level 40. The reason why I'm leveling them up at level 40 is because I want to unlock their equipment. So let's go to Sariel here. So Sariel here has unlocked equipment already. Um, if you go back to those who are not at, uh, who have not been, uh, what they call this, not been ascended yet. So uh, let's uh, check out Chloe. So for Chloe, her equipment is still locked. So. Again, as a beginner, you, you really have to at least reach um, uh, Ascension at least once. It's easy to ascend up to the first Ascension. Um, as long as you, know, you get the resources that you need for a specific Aurorian. Okay, again, it would take you a lot of time to level them up because you'll be needing energy, your prisms, and your prisms definitely are limited per day. So that is your limitation in leveling them. Again, that is why it's going to take you a while to level up a couple. So um, the one thing that is good with um, your characters or Aurorians is the recruit system. The recruit system definitely has a good drop rate as you can see here drop rate is um 20 uh, is two percent and there is a and the probability increases so check out the what they call this check out the the banners that you have here 
and their probability rates. This is going to be your event uh, banner and this is your standard banner. As you can see, the probability increases as you summon. It doesn't stick to a certain rate, then you're guaranteed in the end, but um, it, it definitely increases up to 100%. So again, the, dro the drop rates are very good for this game. Um, easy to get dupes in no time. So I tell you guys, again, the game is very free-to-play friendly. Um, you don't have to rush playing this. It, again, boils down to your appetite in terms of how far you're going to go in a, such a short period of time. Okay, for my account, um, I must confess, I did buy some packs. But as you can see, for um, most of my teams, I'm already complete. I only bought packs good for 40 summons. That's it. So if, if I just take away some of the summons that I bought from the packs, my summons are still decent because at this point, I already have almost complete uh, five teams for each element so this is going to be my lightning team then this is going to be my forest team fire team is up here so as you can see uh, take note that this is ascension this is your level and the one that i'm trying to complete now at least to ascension one and to level 40 is my water team so water is um, so I'm I'm down to these two to put up to level forty. So again, for for a period of a week or eight days, I think this is a decent progression already. If again, if you just take out the forty summons that I that I paid for, it's still decent, guys. Imagine that you could uh, you know assemble two full teams in just uh, what two week and uh, one week. So again. The characters here are easy to get. You won't have a problem. You really enjoy playing with these characters that you've summoned. And also the last, uh, the, no, not the last, but the fourth point that I'm going to be pointing out, guys, is the developers for this game. Um, they are Tour Dog Studio. So they, they're the ones who um, develop the game. Um, as far as um, in terms of feedback from the community and uh, responses from some of the players that I talked to, um, they have been very responsive to the community and they have been very generous. Um, I've actually seen this in, even in their giveaways. They're very generous. Don't worry about your summons. You're gonna, you know, you're gonna be um, generating these in no time. What is my, you know, what is the selling point for this game? What is really the main, you know, the main reason why I'm playing it? Number one is the unique gameplay uh, of tiles, uh, tile, uh, what they call it, attacking through tiles. Um, what else? So let's let's do this. So as you can see here, at the start of the battle, you have tiles in the game. So for a, if you are, if you have a lightning team, definitely you'll attack more with yellow tiles. So let's put this on auto so that we could talk more <laughs> for this game. So you have tiles there. You can convert tiles. You can attack through tiles. You can actually attack even if the color of your tile is not in your element. So again, there are a lot of mechanics in the game which make it very unique very unique in terms of how to approach the game how to how to complete it and that is really what i want in a gacha game um something unique something different from what we're used to next is the 2d art and graphics obviously the the, the 2d art as you can see in my home screen it um character graphics 2d art is very spectacular and also skill animations even if you're only seeing this part definitely the skill anima animations i really appreciate and uh, again one of the things that i'd like to repeat is um the drop rates for the game so the drop rates increase as you summon for a specific banner so again getting five star or six star is not that difficult and as you build your own team even if you're gonna base it off tier lists 
um, there is still creativity there in combining uh, characters, combining heroes. So again, it gives you a sense of being a tactician in terms of where to go, which style to go, what combos do you need to 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 what do you call this to do in order to finish this in one turn. So those kind of things, you know, play into this special game. So again, if you're looking for a unique game that would really um, take you into a different perspective in how games are played, there's a gotcha games are played. Definitely, Al Alchemy Stars is one of the best that came out of 2021 that I think you should play even in 2022. So I'm starting, or I started it already. So again, I hope to see you guys play this game. Um, you should play this game now, as in today. Because this game, really spectacular. It, it gets better and better with every event, with every character added. Um, it gets really better. So, more or less, that is my last say for this game. So, again, I'd just like to finish this out so that we could get the goodies for this one. Um, what else for this game? This game, what can I say? I really missed playing this. I've seen this, I've ignored it, and it was really a mistake. Don't make the same mistake that I did try to play this game um try to you know try to try it out try it out for a week see how it favors uh, in terms of of how you want a game to be played and see if, if if it's in your liking but for me guys any gacha game that has a very good and unique game mechanic i'm really up for it i hope you guys are playing this this year and i hope to see you in my future guides so anyway, guys, so thank you for staying this far in this video. And hopefully I can see you in future videos for Alchemy Stars. Okay, guys, thank you very much. Stay safe. Take care. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.